lost some pieces last year that uh, that helped us have a good season. Uh, missing DiBiase, um, certainly the midfield's going to hurt a little bit. Um, losing the goalie um, that's for four years, and Kevin, uh, he was really the rock um, for the defense. Um, Kropinski on attack, so we're, we're, we're having to replace some important parts. We have a couple new freshmen, actually, I bet I bet like a third of our team's uh, new freshmen. We have two starting freshmen right now, one on the offense, uh, Robert Amanto. He's pretty good attack, been lefty. You should look out for him, big goal scorer. And then down low, we have Nicholas Bogert at defense. Uh, he can really, he's really good on ball, really good off ball. He has a good sense of vision. And then Chris Howell at the faceoff is going to be big for us this year. Well, certainly the schedule, I think, has been upgraded um, significant. Um, you add Kane to the mix. You add Washington College, top 20 program, typically. Um, you add the sales. Um, just right off the bat, those three programs um, significantly up our schedule. Well, in the conference right now, we have, we're placed fourth, like fourth seed. But um, we have uh, Cabrini, they're number one, been number one for the past like 15 years. So we see ourselves coming in at least second, making ECACs, hopefully going on an NCAA run. Team goals at least go to ECACs, hopefully NCAAs, but we have to beat Cabrini. So uh, hopefully second in the conference. Um, through the three scrimmages we've had so far, uh, I, like how, I like how we've played. Uh, we've stick to the script. Um, um, we, we faced off well. Uh, we've possessed the ball. Uh, I think we've ridden well. Um, and we've played you know, good team defense. Um, so if we could do that, you know, I think that looks good. But once again, it's always day to day. Um, quite frankly, practices are the most important things that we do. Um, and if we're taking care of that daily, you know, we think that, you know, the game tends to kind of follow.